Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here. I'm back with another video. You're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I have installed Pixel Experience Official Build, Pixel Experience Plus Edition Official Build on my Redmi Note 8. This build is unified and can be installed on both of the devices, including Redmi Note 8 and Redmi Note 8T, both of the devices. As you can see, it's based on Android version 10. You got the security patch of latest 5th of May 2020 with Google Play system update of 1st of March 2020. I've already posted it on my, on my community tab and your commentary regarding the video, regarding the review. So this was the review. This is kernel version. You got Quicksilver 4.14.179. Which other things you get in Pixel Experience official build, how it is working, can you use this build as a regular device because yes it's all almost bugless, all the things are working. I'll try to show you all the things which are the things you get like ANX camera, Google camera, Geekbench score and a lot more things. Let's get started now. Okay, so this one is my device running Pixel Experience Plus Edition official custom room for Redmi Note 8. This is from official official team, so this is almost bugless. And in quick settings, you can see you have the option to customize or quick setting tiles. This is a plus edition, so some little bit of customization options are available, but not a lot more customization options. Some extra tiles options which you can add here, like screencast, ambient display, heads up, sync, and volume panel, AOD, etc. If we talk about here, you cannot edit any row, any column from here, only get the reset option. As expected, you get the Google Pixel Launcher pre-installed with some advanced options like some developer options pre-installed, adaptive icon window animation apply config and some extra options like this. Only these some customization options you get here. It's a Pixel Launcher so no more customization options available. If we talk about some other things, here you get some extra options of home settings, widget styles and wallpapers and when you go to styles and wallpapers, you get pixel live wallpapers pre-installed. A lot of wallpapers are available. These are live wallpapers which you can install on your device. Looks pretty impressive. Just go here, click on download now. It will start downloading, will not take that much time and just install it directly. It looks very interesting as you can see. You can customize if you want to in which color you need it and it looks pretty impressive. Set wallpaper, home screen and here it is. It looks very very impressive so that's a very good thing. Also you have noticed there is no notch available. I have tried to hide the notch and it's perfectly working alongside with no navigation bar pill. You can hide this option in settings also. ANX camera is pre-installed as you can see the by default camera which you get is ANX camera I was expecting a Google camera from this build but unfortunately we didn't got also in ANX camera you have AI mode pre-enabled and also alongside with that portrait mode is available too no 48 megapixel camera no ultra wide no macro no these things are available so these things you have to compromise with that there's a magic module available to enable 48 megapixel build in ANX camera if you want to but that's your choice that's your personal choice if you want to if we talk about gcam i am using gcam 7.0 unfortunately unfortunately gcam 7 with hdr plus is not working you can use gcam to click photos but unfortunately gcam with hdr plus is not working also the portrait mode is also not working when you click photos it will show you like this so this is another negative thing which i didn't like about this build this is based on latest trinket drive trees so that's why this is an issue with this build this is uh, personally i don't like this if we talk about safety net status safety net check is passed as you can see cts profile is true and basic integrity is also true so that's another very great positive thing if we talk about other things let's take out some features and settings let me just show you one bug i am using this recorder audio recorder from by downloading from play store is for pixel by google when you start recording it will not record as you can see it's by 0.000 etc and in here you can see currently recording but it's not working at all i've tried to use it i've tried to 
I try to play it and a lot more things it's not working so this is kind of bug but if you want sound recorder you can use other apps like this one I'm using smart recorder it's perfectly working just enable it and as you can see it is it will start recording okay yes it's not working it's not working so sound recording is a bug in this build I think okay not it's working sorry for that it's working perfectly it was sometimes stuck at here but you can use this if you want to i don't personally use sound recording so i cannot sure about that but it's perfectly working let's move on to settings check out some features it is a pixel experience plus build so some little bit of customization options are available network and internet connected devices apps and notifications everything is same if you talk about battery backup I'm not sure exactly sure about the battery backup I've just used for as you can see only one hour and screen usage is 32 minutes so I'm not sure about the battery backup but I think it's not bad if you talk about just awesome battery backup it should not be because pixel experience is not for battery backup if you talk about display some extra options like adaptive brightness styles and wallpapers you get four pre-installed styles automatically available and wallpapers I have already shown you if we talk about screen timeout, font size, display size, all things are available. This is one of my best feature. Notch behavior, I tried hidden and it's perfectly working. Double tap to wake, wake on plug, double tap to sleep and prevent accidental wake up. Some extra options, these kind of extra options you get here. Move forward, we have sound, storage, privacy. In sound, one thing is just missing. If you have noticed, there is no me sound enhancer available it is removed from this build you can check out all the changes on their official website if you want to i was expecting me sound enhancer but unfortunately it is removed by them some extra options are available here and one very cool thing is this one face lock is available which is kind of not expected some things were expected and are not available some things are not expected and these are available like face lock is one of them one of the features which i didn't personally expected from this team but this one is available and it's perfectly working i'm using and it's perfectly working at all accounts accessibility digital well-being is available you can update it if you want some extra data here it looks very cool and in system you have option of gestures buttons status bar some three new things to customize in gestures you have some five gestures options jump to camera system navigation lift to check phone prevent ringing and swipe to screenshot three finger screenshot option is available and here in gesture navigation another very cool thing is amount of screen height use as touchable region is full and full or half whichever you like you can choose the height navigation bar pill which you want to use you can choose so these all kind of things you get here if you talk about buttons already have the option of system navigation which we have already choose you have option in power menu to screenshot and uh, and enable airplane mode lockdown etc power menu and volume buttons customization options these kind of options you get here yes there are minimal customization options in pixel experience build but these are best from pixel experience official this one is pixel experience plus edition which has some extra options in status bar you have network traffic monitor and this feature will only available if you disable the notch if you have enabled notch this feature will not show for you system icons clock position and battery indicator these kind of things you get here and brightness these kind of things all other things are same like that developer options are available which you can choose if you want to a lot of things are already i have shown you so this was all from this review from short and small review let me just show you the geekbench score which you was waiting for the geekbench score is not that much great i was expecting a good geekbench score but unfortunately we got 309 as a single core and 1249 is a multi core score Single core if you compare it's almost like the stock ROM but in multi core you will get low performance score like 1311 is the average score but in this build we get 1249. So if you talk about gaming and performance I am not sure, sure regarding that but yes animations are smooth it's perfectly working you can use this build as your daily driver if you want to. This is all from today's review if you want to install very simply go to install directly install this build google apps are pre-installed reboot and you are done and if needed you can format data if you want this was all thanks for watching and have a nice day